so we're gonna do the full review and comparison video for the LG fridge um, when I planned out this video I was like what am I gonna compare you know the fridge to I'm not gonna go buy three other fridges you know what I mean I can't have three refrigerators sitting in my kitchen so I'm gonna get the most equivalent thing that I could find to the LG fridge that we have check some of the uh, temperatures and see how they uh, how they compare so we're at Home Depot now I'm gonna run in grab a couple things and then we'll uh, start the video so in order to make sure this is a non-biased review we had to pick up some goodies so right there infrared thermometer because I don't want any fake shit in my reviews we're keeping it legit I was trying to decide what would be the best thing to compare the LG fridge to to make it fair which led me to this aisle here um, the trash cans, they look similar. They probably perform about the same as my LG fridge. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up this bad boy and uh, continue on. Contender number one, French door LG fridge. Everybody checks it out. Beautiful. Freezer. Got some numbers. Contestant number two. We have the Brute Rollout 50 gallon trash can. This guy, I have high hopes for this thing. This, look at that. Rubber made commercial use, so you know it's good. And finally, and finally, we have the trusty 7-Eleven foam cooler. Look at that, you thought it was a lid? Apparently I got a second lid. That's how well they make these folks. They actually give you an extra lid, just in case. And check that out, you know, pretty well made here. I don't see many flaws. There's the, the sticker there. So this is the, the 28 quart, slightly smaller capacity, but we'll see how it holds up. So this is how this is gonna go. We have one soda, one beer, going in each of our contestants. The cooler, the trash can, the LG fridge. We're gonna take a digital temperature of everything before we go in it and write that all down. All these cans, see that 69 degrees. Beer is sitting at 70, 71, 72. Let's check this one again. 72. So cans are at 69. Beers are all at 72 right now. So we're going to put these in here. We're going to let them sit in there for an hour. And then we're going to come back, see what kind of temperatures we're looking at. So while we wait the hour, see how everything cools, um, I figure we'll go ahead and, and start hitting some other points of the comparison and review. So here we go. First thing I want to talk about is just the build quality. I mean, can you ever go wrong with the classic styrofoam? You know, it's super light, throw it in the back of your truck. If it breaks, you just go get another one. I think that thing cost me like four or five dollars, you know, and it looked great. Can't complain there, it's practically a Yeti. In the Rubbermaid. Now, bang for your buck, I don't know if it gets better than this when compared to the LG fridge. You know, this thing, it's got, it's got a handle in the front, it's got a handle down here in the middle, it's got a handle up here on the top. You wanna throw some ice in this bad boy, and it's got wheels, just roll it on out to the beach. I don't, can you do that with an LG fridge? I think not. And then we have this guy. Let me zoom out so you can try to see all of it. This giant shiny thing that we have right here. Look at that. I mean, looks wise, while it performs similar to the trash can from what I will imagine, it does look a little bit better. I like the stainless, you know, except for all the fingerprints. That doesn't, that's not really cool. You can just 
draw inappropriate things on the front of it with fingerprints. It's got you know, this. Well, that doesn't work because it's an LG and nothing LG works. So when you open it, you know, you got these really nice lights. And I do enjoy that. I think this is something that, you know, the, uh, the other things that we're comparing here, they don't have these nice lights. So it might be something to know. So these two options do not have that really nice LED light, but have no fear, you can buy one. So you can just open this lid up, you know, look, boom, that, I mean, that looks practically like the inside of the LG once you add that LED light. Beautiful. You know, these little guys, they can be had for five, 10 bucks. I think I got this one at the UPS store. Right, Enzo? He knows. Look at him. Beautiful. Now this one, it's got that real nice hinge lid. Listen to that shut. That's glorious. This, you know, it's got this hinge. That kind of sounds like, like shit, to be honest with you. My trash can sounded better. But it's an LG. What do you expect? Now one of the uh, one of the big setbacks on the styrofoam is definitely the lid have a look at this real quick so you got your lid here and you open it up you want to grab a drink and then it just falls off you know there's no hinges on here i suspect we could throw some some duct tape back there and kind of have it hinge okay um but that's a real big downside you know compared to the other two options but it did come with that extra lid so we got that going for us so we've reached our one hour uh, we're gonna pull these out check some temperatures see how everything did All right, first up here is the Styrofoam Classic. The beer is now at uh, 40 degrees. Looks like it's perfect for drinking. And the soda, 39 degrees. So this little guy worked really well. Let's see how the commercial rubber made did. So we got the beer, 65, can 65. So these are a little bit warmer than the, uh, the cooler put out, but that's to be expected. I mean, it is a trash can, so I wasn't expecting much there. We got our LG, French door refrigerator with these beautiful lights in here. Let's take a look all right scoot that over all right soda is at 69 and the beer is at 70 so 71 so one more time for the people in the back this first set is out of our styrofoam cooler 41 on the beer 35 on the soda Next set, Rubbermaid trash can. 66, can you guys see that? There it is. 66, 65, 65. The beer, 64 on the soda. And the last one here, which I'm very not happy with, the LG fridge, 71 on the beer, 71 on the soda. Which means that the the styrofoam here, our trusty, this little guy, styrofoam cooler, that actually cooled better than my $3,000 fucking piece of shit LG fridge. So this, this $5 styrofoam cooler, as well as this $60 plastic trash can, actually cooled all of our drinks that we tested better than a $3,000 LG fridge. Note, so it has all these numbers and, and all these warnings and stuff that flash on it. Mostly this one I wanna key in on here. It says refrigerator, 33 degrees. And I think LG is a liar and it's not 33 degrees. But luckily we have this tool and it's gonna tell us what it is. So here we go, we'll point it right at there. 
It is uh, 70 degrees because it doesn't refrigerate at all. The last part of the challenge is the paperweight challenge. We're gonna see which one actually does a better job at holding a piece of paper. It slips out of here um, really, really easily. I would not recommend this as a paperweight, maybe just as a alternative to an LG fridge, but not so much the paperweight side. Now we have our trusty styrofoam. And I gotta say, this actually performs really well with the paperweight test. I mean, it's on there. You were looking for something to hold your drinks, keep them colder than your LG fridge does, and also use as a paperweight. This might be a good option for you. And we're doing the paperweight challenge on this one. I've gotta say, folks, this thing performed so well with the paperweight challenge, I can't even move this piece of paper back out. It's probably because it's a $3,000 waste of space. Pretty much a giant pile of junk. So to wrap up my conclusion, uh, if you're looking for a very, very expensive paperweight that doesn't cool any type of drinks or food, I recommend the LG. Look at this thing. Best paperweight I have seen in my life. Look at it. That paper isn't going anywhere. My personal choice, I'm gonna have to say that the, uh, the styrofoam, it outperformed everything. You throw in your $5 light, like this, you pop that lid off, boom. It's practically the inside of an LG, but it actually cools better than the LG refrigerators.